Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and on this platform we discuss about designer fashion, luxury and lifestyle, but in a more practical and sensible way. In this video, let's have a quick review of the Saint Laurent small envelope wallet. I think the official name of this is. Uh, I did get this for my birthday in July this year. So I have been using this ever since um, so what is it like two three months uh, and I thought now I actually could provide some type of review on um, how it has been to, to use this in this video uh, let's have like an, an overview of, of what it looks like and, and all the functionalities in this um, quickly kind of see how I use it and uh, what fits in in this uh, how this fits into different bags and then um, just kind of in general, would I recommend this? And, and I have a few other small other goods that I can compare this to. So if you kind of get a better idea, if this would be suitable for you. But before we get started, if you enjoy these types of videos or in general enjoy discussions about mainly luxury fashion, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me. But definitely come back here. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I think you would also like it here. So let's start with looking at how, how it looks like from the outside. So it has the beautiful golden Saint Laurent logo on the front. It is just stunning. Uh, mine is in, I think the color that Saint Laurent calls it, it's dark beige. And uh, it is very, very durable leather. Maybe if I put it up here, you can maybe see what the leather looks like. So is it grained? <laughs> I'm not sure, uh, but very, very durable. Um, it has a snap button opening and, and closure on the front. And here on the sides, you can see there is a kind of gusset that goes inwards or the fabric goes inwards. There is a back pocket here. And uh, yeah, in short, it's kind of classic looking, small mini wallet. Uh, I use this as a wallet daily. And uh, before I got this one, I used to have my Louis Vuitton Rosalie coin purse. It's in Damier Azur in this rose ballerine lining, I presume. Uh, so just at the first size comparison, here you can see that the Saint Laurent one is a tad bigger than the Rosalie, uh, also thicker, I would say. So the Rosalie is actually super, 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 super compact. <laughs> um, so if you are really looking for a tiny, tiny mini wallet, then this would maybe be better for that. But let's, let's look... Uh, in the inside. So I have this now stuffed with how I use it. So I have my cards in here. Um, hopefully nothing super revealing. But it looks like this. It has Saint Laurent written uh, on the leather here. And then this is what it looks like when it's open. Uh, so it has two card slots on this side and then two on the other side and a central compartment. There are no zippers, no back like slip pockets, more than these four that are inside, except for the one pocket in the back. So how I have used this, and this is just for my personal use because I don't need more cards uh, during me every day. And as you might have seen, there is no cash. I don't have any cash. That's maybe not a good thing, but I don't have like, I don't use cash, I don't have coins, bills, like I don't have any, any, any cash. But if we look at the central compartment, I think this would be a good place to fold bills. Um, if you would have any, I don't even have any in the house that I could kind of <laughs> use as a reference. So I just use my, uh, these are like um, supermarket bonus cards. Uh, so I have them in the middle because for me, uh, this, I would not mind 
if I would drop them because they are not like bank a card, bank cards or credit cards or, or IDs or something like important. Uh, so it would just be like an inconvenience if I would lose them. So that's why I have them in the middle, just uh, flapping. But if we look at how I use this, so in the back pocket, I have uh, one of my most used cards. So it is a lunch discount card that my employer provides. So that I use basically daily. Um, so it is, it's here in the back pocket, so it's easy access when I go to the restaurant, I can pay with that. Then, uh, in the card pockets inside, so on this side, I have my, um, most used bank slash credit cards. So I have my personal, uh, bank or debit credit card, and then I have a card that is a joint card for me and my husband. Uh, we do have like separate finances, not that anyone asked or probably <laughs> anyone's interested, but yeah, uh, we still have our own, own finances and, and bank accounts and money, etc. And then we have one joint account where we both then put money. So I have two cards. Um, uh, that Those are my most used cards and also my most important ones. So that's why when I uh, have it like this, the first things I see are those cards. And then on the other side, I have my public transportation card as well as my ID. Uh, and then as mentioned, I have two grocery store supermarket bonus cards lying in there. And that's it. So I get along with a fairly few cards in, in my life. But as you probably can tell, this could potentially fit more cards as well than what I use. So here is just a bunch of cards, seven to me be more precise. So let's see what it looks like when I put these into the middle compartment. And it looks like this. So I'm assuming that it could actually fit even more cards into it, uh, which unfortunately I don't own any more cards. Um, but as you can see, you could fit some in there. With the Rosalie, the issue that kind of takes up some space is that the sides fold inwards so that the there is a lot these corners are here and when when you have a card you cannot put it in the middle you have to put it on either on this side or that because the card won't fit in the middle with these sides turning inwards this does not have the same issue so the sides do fold inwards but there is still like the cards fit into the middle i'm not sure if i'm able to explain myself clearly hopefully i am and it closes and the sides look very very decent at least in my opinion actually let's let's test so there i have four cards in my hand plus the one that was already in here so now there are five cards still easy to grab. Uh, so the back pocket, it has give, so to say. Uh, and then when we go to the inside of the mini wallet, so this is like super, super easy to remove my cards. This probably looks very, very strange of me trying to keep the wallet open and, and moving the cards. Uh, awkward much but yeah so very very easy and if someone is interested I will try doubling so now this one has two cards in it it's a bit stiff like more stiff to uh, jiggle with the cards so for me personally I would not put double cards in the slots um, maybe if you would have them there all the time and you would uh, kind of use them, it would maybe get looser, but I don't want it to get looser. I, I like it to be like, let's say these away, but nothing is falling from here. So they are really keeping them there, but it's easy to remove them uh, when needed. And that's at least what I want from my wallet to, to be able to use it, but know that my cards have security. Then kind of jumping from the size comparison with the Rosalie uh, to a regular flat card holder. This is a Louis Vuitton Epi card holder, so very, very flat. But I would say this is a classic size of a card holder. 
So here you can see that this is bigger than a card holder. And if there would be a need, you could fit it in here. But as you can see, this is now sideways. So the card holder is longer than the middle section with the kind of sides turning inwards. So you would need to kind of put it uh, diagonally, diagonally there. Whoa, that's a difficult word for me. But like if you would need to, it closes, it's inside. Um, I wouldn't do that. But in some cases, you might have like a separate card holder for whatever purposes. So you could basically have both of them here and then just take this when you go somewhere if you need fewer cards. Next section is how does this fit into different bags? I have brought three bags with me <laughs> to this video. I don't see a purpose of bringing like tote bags or bigger bags because obviously it's gonna fit. So I thought we could take a few a bit smaller ones so you could kind of have an impression on, on how it works with them. So first is my Prada Re-Edition 2005. I have, I have removed the thick shoulder strap because we don't need it in this one. It would just be in the way. Wallet, Prada bag. So obviously it's gonna fit in there. And this is how much space it's taking. So obviously there is a lot of room to other stuff as well. So even though this is bigger than the Rosalie, so most likely bigger than the smallest compact card holders or card wallets, um, I have no issue carrying it in, in this bag. For some reason, all the bags I chose for this video are black, but, well, at least this will then, <laughs> uh, you can separate this from the bags. The next bag I wanna test is my Louis Vuitton Lock Me the second BB, which is my newest bag. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I need to make a, a video of this because I have been using this quite a lot, so I can actually give like pros and cons. But let's not focus on that one. So here we have the wallet and here we have the bag. So obviously it is gonna fit. When we have the uh, side zippers closed, it looks like this. And when we open it up all together, so there is like a lot of space in here. Uh, so definitely you could wear this size of a crossbody bag and it would fit. The final bag that I chose is actually the smallest one. And I guess it actually might be the biggest question mark. Can we fit it in there? And it is my Saint Laurent monogram clutch. So this is kind of representing all the walks out there. It might be that this is a tad bigger than normal walks. I'm not sure I haven't done the measuring work, but majority of walks fall into the same size, I would assume. So let's see if we can fit the mini wallet or the small envelope wallet into the monogram clutch. So obviously like this, you can see that it's gonna fit, but Will it fit like from the thickness? So can we still close this? Let's see. I have been wearing this crossbody last time, so I still have the chain hanging. But, so here we have this empty. Here is the wallet. You drop it in, so obviously it fits inside like this. And... Uh, it does close and it doesn't look like misshaped or anything it actually fits quite nicely and i have been wearing the wallet inside this bag in addition i have had my keys a lipstick um airpods and my phone so yeah once again we're kind of moving as this is <laughs> um the, the greatest clutch ever made because it fits so much more than you probably would assume um, but the wallet fits perfectly there is no issues there it closes nicely so I don't even need to downsize uh, when I'm wearing this clutch if if and when I have been wearing this wallet okay so do I see this as worth it well as it was a gift it's kind of hard to say exactly worth it or not 
but if I think like price wise, these cost approximately the same. And now I'm talking in euros, so I have not checked in dollars or, or pounds or other currencies. Uh, but in euros, these cost approximately the same. Um, which like Louis Vuitton canvas is super durable. Yes, for sure. Um, but canvas is still, it's not leather. And for some, or let's say all brands, they do at least price leather higher than canvas or other these type of fabric materials. So leather is usually more expensive than canvas. And it is so with Louis Vuitton as well. Um, this is bigger. So this has more material than what this has. And as for me, I haven't had that issue yet, uh, but I have heard quite many say that the button here starts rubbing. So the, uh, the color kind of starts to come off and it might become dirty, etc. With this, there is no such issue. Like, of course you can get scratches to the logo over here because it's, it's metal, it's hardware, um, and it's, it might bump into things or zippers in your bag or whatever. So that might get scratched, but it's going to be super difficult to get any, any scratches, uh, onto the leather because it is so durable. And then if we look at the sides, there is no glazing. This is just sewn together versus this has glazing and that might come off. Uh, I don't have those worries yet, luckily, uh, but that's the possibility with this one. But all in all, like you could get a leather, a bit bigger mini wallet compared to Louis Vuitton, which is um, more than 50% canvas and approximately with the same size. So for me, it's like definitely it is worth it. I think the price is amazing on this. And uh, I mean, if you are not a person who enjoys only those tiny micro mini bags that can barely fit a card holder, <laughs> yet alone something uh, closer to a mini wallet, then of course this might be too big for you. But as I showed that you can fit this into a clutch and still wear it. So you wouldn't even need to like change it if you don't want to. Of course, variety is nice, but if you don't want to, if you're as lazy as me, that you just want to preferably change this from bag to bag. For me, this fits in, let's say, 90% of my bags. So obviously not in my super evening clutches. It might not, I haven't tested, but that's not... Uh, anything I worry about because I don't wear them daily, but for my most used bags that I could wear on a daily basis, this fits. And that just makes me super, super happy. Uh, if I think of cons, I actually have difficulties of coming up with any. Um, I just, I don't know, if I try really hard um, Sometimes when I'm at the grocery store and I've paid and I'm, I'm in a hurry to take my, my, my items and put this back in my purse, I might have like to try a couple of times to hit the button. But is that really a con or is it just me being in a hurry? That's all I can come up with. So probably at least I have not noticed that many cons. Um, and that makes me very happy and I'm super, super pleased to have this and wear this and the quality of Saint Laurent, it's just, it's amazing. I, I can't get over it. It's just so great. And I absolutely feel like majority of my SLGs are still, but also have been from Louis Vuitton. That's where I started my whole uh, obsession <laughs> now let's say hobby uh, interest passion uh, any of those words will do uh, so I did go for the Louis Vuitton a lot in the beginning and especially for the SLGs because they were and still are less expensive than the bags uh, but then when I kind of came a bit further along and also was more open to other brands um, I don't know if that kind of price per quality with Louis Vuitton in every piece is there um, anymore at least. 
So I feel like Saint Laurent has been like sneaking from behind and now more and more people are actually realizing that Saint Laurent has super amazing quality. Their price point has, like in my opinion, in some items, it has gone up quite a lot what it didn't used to be, so that might be because of popularity, because more and more people have found Saint Laurent, but they still do have a lot of reasonably priced items. We're talking in the luxury designer world, reasonably priced. So the price per quality is definitely there with Saint Laurent. And I mean, this is just so pretty. Every time I open my bag and I uh, I can grab this, so basically when I use money, um, I'm just so happy. This is so beautiful and oh, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very grateful that I got this for my birthday and um, I'm definitely, I, I can recommend this um, and I am recommending it. So if you are in a market for a leather, small, smaller, small wallet, uh, that is mainly like for card usage. You can have bills in here as well, but um, but yeah, look for this one. So that was it, you guys. What do you think? Uh, do you have experience with Saint Laurent? Uh, anything bags, SLGs? What are your thoughts on, on it? Uh, I would really, really be interested to know. So please, let's continue in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.